Badrav says, I've come to Tumo Center for Creative Technologies, which is an internationally recognized nonprofit aimed at teaching technical skills to young Armenians. Welcome to TUMO, the Center for Creative Technologies. The main things we learn at TUMO are 3D modeling, robotics, photography, creative writing, animation, filmmaking, web development, and game development. The learning at TUMO is free. The only criteria for the admission is being from 12 to 18 years old. We have three centers open, center in Yerevan, center in Dilijan, center in Gyumri, and we're planning to open a center in Stepanakert this September, and we're very excited about expanding our mission through all the Armenia and maybe even outside. TUMO currently has 6,000 students and by 2020, 10% of Yerevan will have been to TUMO. So I'm about to visit a video game workshop in which students can learn how to make their own video games. I help with the game design and game development. Here we learn programming through three different levels of workshops. I just graduated the university and uh, I heard about a place in Armenia where game design is being held and this is my dream. I can help kids in some way achieve the goals that I have put in my life. For example, I want to create games and now I help kids to create games. So this is my driving force and the stuff that makes me happy. I see kids who are happy. I see kids who are doing things that they like and not, and not the things that are forced to do. But for me, I want to see how kids are making games, lots of games, good games. Like this is the aim that I have in here. My name is Annie, I am a student at Tumo Center and I am a game development volunteer and game development workshop assistant. So this is one of the works of our students, the third person shooter. This is only work of five days. I like helping Tumo because I learn here a lot of things, game development, uh, and I chose my profession like a game developer and all the knowledge that I have here, I want to pass it to the other students. I'm about to visit Tumo's music studio. They had the first iPad orchestra in Europe, they have four projects going on right now, and Kanye West visited here just two months ago. The group I'm going to see is called Decibel. Hi, I'm Miriam. I'm Lily. I'm Erin too. I'm Eugenia. And we, and we are Decibel. Everything in Tumo is probably atmosphere because here people are different and uh, creative. I like this place. It gave me a chance to chase my dreams. I always wanted to be in a band. My dream came true. This is like our family. Alex, I'm from the band called Pyramids with the electronic music. My name is Veronica, I'm from the punk rock band. Yeah, my favorite thing about Tuma is that I can find my friends, I can find the people that are interested in the same thing that, that I am and uh, find a crazy amount of knowledge in here. My favorite thing is that I can learn anything that I want because there is uh, many chances for everybody because uh, if you want to be a musician you can start from zero if you be a photographer, they give you a camera and you can shoot whatever you want. I start from zero and now, I, now I'm not allowed. We just love the music and love to create something new. So 
So I'm now in Tumo's visual arts presentation room. And the coolest thing about this place is that everything shown in this room was actually made by Tumo students using computer code. I'm sitting in Tumo's auditorium where they have all kinds of presentations going on every day. Uh, this is a uh, first level robot. Uh, it's programmed on the robotics first level. We have three levels. And uh, it's only track aligned. So I just got out of the robotics room and now I'm on my way to an animation startup. Since there are so many kids here interested in technology, startups are born all the time. This is our first animation, our debut work. It's animation dedicated to Armenian genocide. We want to thank Friendship that uh, rescue Armenians from Musalar, so this is Musalar story. So Kanye West is actually a huge fan of Tumo Center himself. He visited here about four months ago when Kim Kardashian and her family visited Armenia for the first time. And he said that this was his favorite place in Armenia. And I can definitely see why. He also gave an impromptu concert at Swan Lake. It was all over the news. It was at night and he invited everyone in Yerevan to come for free. He really wanted to give his audience a great experience. And he loves Tumo Center so much that he gave so many gifts to Tumo Center. Right here, I have the set list of the concert. He wrote, I jumped into the water and my mic went dead, but it was awesome. And he says, thank you, Armenia, with his autograph at the bottom. It has all my favorite Kanye West songs on here, including All the Lights, Gold Digger, Run This Town, Stronger. It's really cool because I'm actually a huge Kanye West fan myself. Here's the mic he used during the concert. It went dead when he jumped into the water, and I can confirm it's not turning on right now, so it's, it's dead. <laughs> And also he gave them the boots he wore when he jumped into Swan Lake. So it's really cool to see how much Kanye West believes in this place and I can see why everyone who comes here really believes in this place because it's doing such great things for the Yerevan community and, and all of Armenia. They have projects going on now in Gyumri and Dilijan. I, I'm very excited to see where Tumo Center goes from here. I'm now going to show you Tumo Park, which is run by Tumo Center and hosts a variety of events including kite festivals and International Yoga Day. So that's it for Timo Center and Park. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'll be back and I hope you will too.